All right, so today we're going to do a tour of the neighborhood called Henderson Estates. It's in the Southwest Edmonton, often included in part of the Twilliger Riverbend area. And uh, it's a really nice neighborhood. It's bordered by Rabbit Hill Road and Riverbend Road, essentially. And to the south of it, there's a neighborhood called Haddo. And to the other side, you've actually got the River Valley. So it's really only got two main roads that border it. Other than that, it's uh, right next to the River Valley in Southwest Edmonton. Make sure to hit that like button if you're getting value out of these videos and hit subscribe so you can get notified the next time we do a video. And if you'd like to find out how the real estate market is doing in Henderson Estates, I put a link in the description below where you can actually download a copy of the latest monthly market report. So I'll update that each month. Right now it's December, but if you're watching this in June, uh, you can still click that link and then you'll get the, the most recent uh, market report for Henderson Estates. So make sure you go into the description and uh, click on that link and just enter your email and you can download it. So we just turned into Henderson Estates and Henderson Estates is mostly made up of single family homes, but there are some row houses or townhouses in the neighborhood as well. So I'll just kind of give you a bit of a, a drive through here. We're just a few days before Christmas and we're getting snow today. So we've got some wetness on the windshield and went for a walk. So it's a really beautiful winter day. Over here on my left, this is actually Henderson Park. And since we're inside Henderson Estates, you can obviously access it from here. Uh, we'll go through a walk. Uh, we'll, we'll show you this area on foot a little bit later here in the video so you can check it out. Um, but it's a nice neighborhood park. And now this is the edge on along Heverden Drive. Um, there, this is basically the river valley is right here. So it's awesome. There's a couple different ways you can connect to it. Huge trail system in there. We'll also get on foot and show you a little bit of that later on in the video as well. But obviously the homes that are right along the river valley here um, are gonna be a little bit more expensive because you don't have any neighbors across from you and just being right across from the river valley does put a premium on the prices a little bit. So this neighborhood was mostly developed, I believe they started developing it in the late 80s and into the 90s. Uh, they probably finished it in the mid 90s, maybe late 90s would be the, about the, the newest stuff that you'd see in here. So it is fully developed. If the homes haven't been renovated, uh, they're not going to compare to brand new homes, obviously, in the finishes that they have. Uh, but it isn't a nicer neighborhood, so a lot of people have done renovations on their houses, but uh, you'll still get both when stuff comes up on the market. You'll, you'll see some that have hardly been touched at all since they were built and others that have been extensively renovated. We caught the neighborhood when it's garbage day, so you can see everybody's got their bins out. Obviously, it's not going to be like that every day. Currently, there's very few homes on the market in this neighborhood. Part of that's due to it being right before Christmas. A lot of people will take their homes off the market if they're not sold for the holidays and then maybe put them back up in the new year. Uh, but it is a pretty popular neighborhood and there's not usually a ton of inventory. So if you're looking to move into this area, you'll have to keep an eye out and uh, probably act quickly for the, the really nice properties that come up because there's gonna be other people that are going to be interested in them as soon as they hit the market. So I'm just turning onto Heath Road right now and if I keep going on this road not too much further that's actually where we cross the threshold and go into the next neighborhood just south of Henderson Estates and that's called Haddo. Um, 
right here we're going to come up on some you can see these nice walking trails you can't really see them right now and we've got a uh, power lines above us this is essentially the uh, the border between Henderson Estates and Haddo and down that way is the river valley so if you just walk along these uh, power lines there's some trails here you can't really see you can follow that and get right to the river valley from there as well Norma's got a few more details here for us that she can share on what's close by. First, with the public schools, there's no actual schools within the Henderson States neighborhood, but uh, the designated schools are nearby. One of them is uh, Earl Buxton Elementary School, the Riverbend Junior High, and Lillian Osborne and Strickona High School, so both of those. And uh, for Catholic schools, there's St. Mary and St. Monica Elementary Schools. The Archbishop jo Joseph McNeil Junior High School and Mother Margaret Mary High School. Yeah, see, got lots of options for schools. It's also pretty close to the uh, Riverbend Square Shopping Center where you'll find all sorts of things uh, Safeway, restaurants, uh, there's a bank there as well. We'll also show you Riverbend Square because that, that's the the closest bigger shopping center that's very close by. It's only like a five minute drive, uh, depending on where you're coming from in Henderson Estates, you can even walk. Um, so we'll, we'll show you some of that. And then there's also another smaller uh, shopping center that I believe is called Haddo Close, that uh, it's got some professional buildings in there, like a spa, a pharmacy, convenience store, nothing too uh, big but that's also pretty close by and then you can also get to Windermere pretty quickly in 10 minutes or less which is pretty nice as well. Yeah. It's also pretty close to like 15 minute drive from uh, West Edmonton Mall because it's really close to Terwilliger Drive and the White Mud and uh, there's also a 10-ish minute drive to Southgate Mall. So we are back on Riverbend Road here. And I wanna show you another part of Henderson Estates called Eagle Ridge. We were sort of just on the edge of it when we first entered, uh, but we were looking at a little bit different area. So we're just about to pass Henderson Park here again on our left. Uh, this time we're coming from the other side. Uh, we were on the other side of this last time and since we're on Riverbend Road, you can see this side of the park as well. And this neighborhood on our right, this is Falconer Heights. So uh, we don't have a video on that one yet, but when we do, we'll link it so you can check that out as well. Um, it's another nice neighborhood. So now I'm coming up to the intersection of Riverbend Road and Rabbit Hill Road. And I'm gonna turn left here and go down Rabbit Hill Road. And we'll show you Eagle Ridge. So when it comes to transit in this area, there's actually not a lot of uh, public transit, but it is part of that pilot program with the um, on-demand transit. So as far as I know, you get on, on an app and you schedule your trip. And the, it's like those um, smaller DATS buses it's the same kind of bus and it comes and picks you up um, at the time that you schedule your trip. Outside of that, I think you might want to get more onto um, closer to Terwilliger Drive to get other kinds of uh, bus routes. So this neighborhood right on our right is Radigan Ridge, so it's on the other side of Rabbit Hill Road. And what I'm actually going to show you right now before we go into Eagle Ridge is I'm going to show you Twilliger Park and uh, Twilliger Park is right at the end of Rabbit Hill Road. It's a large park, kind of comes out like a peninsula, uh, it's surrounded by the river and it's an off-leash area for dogs so a lot of people love it for that. If you got pets that's really nice to, to be able to come down here um, and it, there's lots of trails and it connects with the rest of the river valley so you can actually go across a footbridge that'll take you across the river and then you can connect over to Fort Edmonton Park and the rest of the River Valley Trail system. So um, from Henderson Estates, you can actually connect to this park from uh, some of the trails along the River Valley that we'll show you on foot here in a bit. Um, but uh, for now, we'll just drive down here into the parking lot, give you a quick 
view of, of the uh, area in Twilliger Park. It's a great trail system. And now we're in Twilliger Park. If you look on the far side, that's the, uh, the other side of the river, the, the banks. And uh, it's, it's really nice down here. And considering it's winter, there's actually quite a few cars down here. So you can see that it's popular year round, even in the winter um, on a warmer day like today. It can be great to get out here with the dogs uh, or come down here and go snowshoeing. That's another thing that you can do. You see a lot of people out here with their dogs right now. There's only so many places in Edmonton that you can go off leash with your dogs. So it can be a big plus for living here near Twilliger Park. Unless you're afraid of big dogs, it can be a scary place. So that's Twilliger Park. We, we won't go and show you on foot uh, that Twilliger Park right now. We'll save that for another video. Uh, so check the links in the description in case we've got a video of Twilliger Park by the time you're watching this. And of course, remember to subscribe and uh, hit that like button so you can get notified when we do more community videos like this, giving you tours of different neighborhoods and different cool things to check out in Edmonton. So believe it or not, there is actually a sidewalk next to us. It's a little bit of a trek to try to get up in the summer on, on foot or riding a bike, but uh, you can actually just walk down there using the sidewalk. Okay, so now we're back on Rabbit Hill Road and there's actually a cute little uh, community here right on the edge of Henderson Estates called Eagle Ridge Place. And these are actually townhouse condos right here. Give you a quick peek. It's a really unique neighborhood. There's, there's 20 something units in here and uh, they're sort of like luxury townhouses that were built in the, in the mid 90s by Brass 3. This is a bus loop right here, uh, but it looks like it's probably one of those on-demand ones or they might have removed it at some point. But I wanna show you the rest of Henderson Estates here. So this, this part of Henderson Estates that we're entering now is known as Eagle Ridge. So I just we just drove past Eagle Ridge Place, which is just one condo townhouse complex. Now we're entering the part of Henderson Estates known as Eagle Ridge. So first there's this development right here as soon as you come in that uh, I believe they're bungalows and they're pretty big. You can see that they're all the same. Looks like there's one listing in here right now. Yeah, so just to give you an idea, uh, and of course, depending on when you're watching this, this is not relevant. Um, there, there is currently a listing for a unit in this complex for uh, 677,000. And that is a four bedroom unit with three bathrooms. It's got 1,859 square feet, plus another 1,254 square feet in the basement. So that's what it's actively listed at right now. Uh, that won't be relevant more than likely by the time that you're watching this video, but it just gives you a really rough idea. We'll also get into some, a benchmark price for the neighborhood, um, which also gives you a bit of a rough idea on the most sort of typical home that is sold in Henderson Estates. This also connects to the river valley over here. You can take it around got some really nice homes in this part of Henderson Estates. So uh, we wanted to take a, cl a closer look at Henderson Park. This is the park that's basically right in the middle of Henderson Estates. Um, it does connect with one side of the of the road for Riverbend Road, uh, so you can see a lot of the park if you just drive right along Riverbend Road. But it's actually a pretty nice park. They've got 
obviously the playground section, but some nice kind of trails and, and benches throughout. And you'll get to get a bit of a look at it in the winter. It's currently snowing right now, so it's about as wintry of a day as you could expect. And I think we're, what'd you say, one day after the winter solstice, or what do they call it? Winter solstice was last night. So it's one of the shortest days of the year and it's really cloudy. Believe it or not, it's not even noon yet. Uh, it might look a little dark, but that's because it's really cloudy and snowing. There should be a path somewhere around here. So yeah, we're on the side of Henderson Park that is right next to the community. So we're on the opposite side of the main road on the outside of the neighborhood. Not quite as busy in the winter months. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a basketball court here and it looks like some sort of cement wall. So I'm not sure if that's something kids use to play games these days. Maybe play some red butts or something like that. Um, and then they've also got basically big fields over here. I would consider them soccer fields. I think they've got soccer nets on the ends of them. Probably can't really see them right now. Looks like there's a few people heading out over here to do some tobogganing, so must be a decent tobogganing hill. Can't really see it from here, but people are bringing their toboggans out. Yeah, it looks like there's just a little hill over there. Probably nothing too crazy, but more than enough for kids. Yeah, so it's actually a pretty decent sized park as you can see. So there's more than enough room for people to be playing soccer and uh, basketball and playing in the playground. Well, right over here is just the River Bend Road. So that's uh, the outer edge of Henderson Park, or Henderson, well, Henderson Park and Henderson Estates. Um, so you can get to it from there as well. But yeah, so it's a nice, pretty straightforward community park, but it's a really good size. So makes it so a lot of people can use it at the same time. Something kind of cool about Henderson Park is that it's uh, part of the Green Shack program. And uh, the Green Shack program is a city run program where um, they organize some program leaders and they host um, a series of uh, games, sports, uh, some theater and music for kids, all sorts of activities during the summer months. So I believe it starts in mid-July and ends in August, uh, late August uh, every year. These uh, program leaders, they're qualified, uh, they complete a security clearance process and they're trained in first aid. Uh, that being said, uh, parents are responsible for their kids and uh, they have to be available in case there's any kind of emergency. Uh, but the program leaders do their best to keep everything safe and fun. If you're interested or you want to check it out, you can go to their website and maybe have some fun activities for your kids uh, to go and, and do during the summer in Henderson Park. Okay, so that was Henderson Park. Uh, we're going to go check out 
some of the trails that go into the river valley now, which will be pretty nice. Uh, it's beautiful in the summer and you can connect with the entire river valley system. So if you really wanted to, or if you're biking or walking, you could go across the entire river valley and end up in like Northeast Edmonton if you wanted to. If you feel like taking a day trip and maybe some food with you and do a picnic type thing. Um, but Henderson Estates is right on the edge of the river valley. So you can very easily get into it and uh, just enjoy those trails in the summer and in the winter. So we're gonna go show you a little bit of that and uh, go from there. So this is one of the areas that you can access the river valley. Uh, so we'll, we'll get on foot here and show you uh, some of these trails and what you can check out near the river valley. So we're gonna take a look at this uh, trail off of uh, Heffernan Drive. I can never, yeah, Heffernan Drive, there we go. So it's just on the edge of Henderson Estates and this basically is one of the ways into the trail system that can connect you to all of the river valley. So you can see uh, we're gonna come in here. I've taken this trail down here before. Uh, you can get a little bit of a glimpse of the river sometimes through the trees and then it connects with another trail here which you can actually follow and even cross the river if you wanted to. Uh, or you can actually follow the trail, it's uh, 1.4 kilometers, to get into Twilliger Park, which is an off-leash area for dogs. It's a massive park, um, and there's a whole bunch of trails in there, and you can even go over another footbridge to keep following the trail system. So basically limitless trails that you can connect to from here. Uh, this, this section is on-leash. Uh, you've got to get into Twilliger Park before it's the off-leash area. So yeah, we'll check it out. We got our... <laughs> Our, our tea, our warm tea ready to go. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. It's a really beautiful day. If you like uh, cloudy <laughs> and snowing, it's a nice winter day. Let's put it that way. Wow, we should really try to go for more winter walks like this. It's beautiful. We haven't really done this much in the winter at all, but it's really peaceful, hey? With mo more snow this year? Haven't really had this much in a while. Mm. Yeah, I like seeing all the trees with the snow on them. It looks prettier than just the bare trees after all the leaves have fallen off. I'm not sure if you can, you probably can't see it, but I do think that is the river down there through the trees. Yeah, so if you're the type that likes the river valley and having access to the trail system whether it's in the winter like this or in the summer that could be a big motivating factor for you to buy a place or, or move into a place that's so close to the river valley there's there's tons of parts of edmonton where you can easily get to the river valley but if you're more on the interior side of twilliger river bend area and not actually on the side near the river it's a little bit more out of the way you might have to drive a little bit to get to the river valley but when you're in communities like this like henderson estates it's you could just go for a walk basically uh, or hop on your bike and get there right away so for some people that's a huge plus um, if you're already really active outdoors or if you'd like a change of lifestyle and want to get more into the outdoors it's a good excuse to buy a house in the area Oh yeah, you can start to see a little bit more of the 
it's got to be the river down there probably can't see it on the camera very well but it's just an area of white <laughs> so it's got to be the river just covered in snow obviously on the on the winter walks through here it's not so much about the river but unless you're a lot closer to the river you'll be able to enjoy it a bit more yeah it's, it's quite quiet here surprisingly I, I can hear some construction noise but I think that's probably temporary because on the other side of the river here um, I believe that's where the water treatment plant is and they're doing some upgrades or something and, and maybe they're working right now because I, I don't remember hearing that kind of noise the last time we were on this trail in the summer and it's definitely quieter now besides just kind of hearing that off in the distance distance but otherwise it's quite peaceful you wouldn't really if it wasn't for that noise you wouldn't even know that you're in the city and not as many people on the trails obviously in the winter so it can be a really nice walk uh, if it's not a super cold day Is it that same trail where we saw that porcupine? And yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, one time in the summer, we were walking on this trail and we came across a porcupine. So we got to the other side of the trail and carefully walked past because we don't exactly know how to deal with porcupines. So that should give you a pretty good feel of uh, what Henderson Estates feels like. Uh, we're gonna go show you the Riverbend Square Shopping Center and the Haddo Close uh, little neighborhood shopping center as well that's pretty close by. So we're now back on Rabbit Hill Road. We're gonna cross Riverbend Road and then we'll be really close to Riverbend Square. This on our right here is part of Falconer Heights. So it's not part of Henderson Estates, but it is part of Falconer Heights. And now we're just coming up on Riverbend Square here. Which has all of the main essentials that you'll need. It's definitely got its fair share of fast food restaurants. The uh, major, major grocery store that they have in here is the Safeway, uh, but you'll also see that there's a shell, a subway, there's a liquor store here, also got a fountain tire, several different banks. So we've got uh, CIBC here on the corner, got a shopper's drug mart, nail shop, barber shop, Dynalife, chiropractor, there's a, a small uh, sort of professional building here so there's a bunch of small businesses like upstairs there's also a little recycling depot here so you can do some drop off like boxes and, and other stuff that might not be able to put in your normal recycling but over here they of course have a McDonald's it's been a staple everywhere for a long time now <laughs> and then uh, bunch of other small businesses over here like a booster juice there's a registry um, art and frame m m meat shops We've even got some other restaurants here pizza donaire saigon cuisine olivetto italian restaurant and then there's also a td canada trust and an orange theory fitness One more section of Riverbend Square over here where they just 
I'm not sure if it's open yet, but I think it might be. There's a, there's a new Starbucks here. Used to be a second cup, but Starbucks booted him out and took over. We've also got a Domino's, chiropractor, jewelry store, Fabutan, Faux Express. Get, get some good uh, faux Vietnamese food there. Another barber shop, Bo's Nails. There's a curry place here that I think is pretty new. Oh, that was the place that used to be, there, there used to be a Donair place. <laughs> now there's a curry shop there. And there's also a dental office here in the Edmonton Public Library, right here on our right. And lastly, an A&W. And that's it for Riverbend Square. So it's just a few minutes away from Henderson Estates. This is where you can get all of your essentials. Only downside is if you don't like Safeway, you gotta go a little bit further. There's a, a Save on Foods not too far away and another shopping center. And if you go down to Windermere, there's a Superstore, another Safeway, probably another Save on Foods, <laughs> and maybe some other options as well. Twilliger Drive is right here, so um, this is the main road that you would use when you're kind of getting out. Uh, you can take it to the White Mud or you can take it to the Henday, so I, I'm going to be taking it over to the Henday. Of course, uh, we were on Riverbend Road earlier that you can use that to connect to Twilliger Drive a little closer to the Henday than, than where we are right now. But I'm just going to drive a little ways up uh, Twilliger Drive to show you the Haddo Close which is the next kind of sh closest little shopping center where you can get a few convenience items, essentially. And, uh, and of course, you're also very close by to Twilliger Rec Center, which is just across from Twilliger Drive here. Uh, that uh, Riverbend Road actually turns into 23rd Avenue, and then, tw and then the Twilliger Rec Center will be on your left. So it's, again, less than 10 minutes, maybe five to seven minute drive, roughly, off the top of my head to get to the Twilliger Rec Center. And there is a major uh, bus center there called the, the Ledger uh, Bus Center. I'm not sure what the proper term is, but there's lots of different buses that connect in there as well. And then this overpass here right in front of us, it's a, it's a, a walking overpass. Um, that connects, if you keep following this down, earlier we drove past the uh, power lines and I mentioned that there's walking trails that actually continues up and you can use that to cross over Twilliger Drive like we just showed there. Okay so now I'm coming up on the corner of 23rd Avenue and Riverbend Road and this is where there's going to be a little shopping center on my right. I, I always called it Haddo Close but they might have renamed it now drove by the other day and I think they called it Twilliger or something, so let's see. Twilliger Professional Center, so that might be the new the newer name of this little area here, unless that's just referring to one of the buildings, but there's a salon here, a Pizza 73. Let's see, there used to be a convenience store on the corner. But now I see a sign that says Botox. <laughs> Priorities, right? Yeah, so there's a Botox uh, fillers, laser aesthetics place here on the corner. That used to be like a max uh, on the other side here. And then on the, we got the, some medical clinics here. There's a medicine shop and a do dental oasis. So I guess there's no longer a convenience store here. So you can get your laser treatments, but no Slurpees. And then right here on the right, there's actually a fire station. So if you have a fire, you know that they're not very far away, so they can get to you pretty dang quick and uh, get rid of that fire for you. So yeah, that shows you pretty much how close everything is. And uh, like I said, Windermere is very close too. All you gotta do is hop on Twilliger Drive and, and cross the Henday and you're there. So. Just to give you some perspective on how close that shopping center that we went by is to Henderson Estates. Um, Henderson Estates starts pretty much right here on my left. 
This is that those power lines that I was talking about. If you follow it on the right, that will take you over in that overpass that we showed you on Twilliger Drive. So that's it for Henderson Estates. Um, if you got value out of this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, then you'll get notified when we have a new video. And like I said, if you want to get a market report uh, for Henderson Estates, all you have to do is look for that link in the description below and you can download a copy of the most recent market report. I'll just uh, give me your name and email and I'll send it over to you right away. Um, the, the only other thing that we didn't really talk about is the benchmark pricing. Um, so I'll hand that back over to Norma <laughs> and maybe, maybe she can uh, give you some benchmark prices and uh, we can figure something else out. <laughs> The benchmark uh, price for a home in Henderson states a single family home is 622,200 and this would be a home about 2301 square foot built in around 1989 with a fully finished basement four bedrooms in total three full bathrooms one half bathroom and a double attached garage again that's just a benchmark price uh, different homes will be priced differently and we renovate at different degrees so that will also affect the price and of course uh, season will also affect prices mm -hmm. it, so it just gives you an idea on sort of what the most typical home in Henderson Estates is currently selling for right around now so if you'd like to get more specific details on pricing uh, we're both real estate agents with Century 21 Masters uh, feel free to Give me a call or, or send me a text and uh, we can help you out searching for a home in Henderson Estates or anywhere in Edmonton. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.